Hi there. Welcome to the Proverbs series. We've been reading the book of Proverbs, about two chapters per episode. Today, we continue with Proverbs chapters 22 and 23. Check out the previous episodes. I will be reading from the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in whatever Bible version you prefer. The World English Bible sometimes refers to God as Yahweh. Proverbs chapter 22. A good name is more desirable than great riches, and loving favor is better than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. Yahweh is the maker of them all. A prudent man sees danger and hides himself, but the simple person and suffer for it. The result of humility and the fear of Yahweh is wealth, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the wicked. Whoever guards his soul stays from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rule over the poor. The borrower is servant to the lender. He who sows wickedness reaps trouble, and the rod of his fury will be destroyed. He who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he shares his food with the poor. Drive out the mocker, and strife will go out. Yes, quarrels and insults will stop. He who loves purity of heart and speaks gracefully is the king's friend. Yahweh's eyes watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the unfaithful. The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I will be killed in the streets. The mouth of an adulteress is a deep pit. He who is under Yahweh's wrath will fall into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of discipline drives it far from him. Whoever oppresses the poor for his own increase and whoever gives to the rich both come to poverty. Turn your ear and listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my teaching for it is a pleasant thing if you keep them within you, if all of them are ready on your lips. I teach you today, even you, so that your trust may be in Yahweh. Haven't I written to you thirty excellent things of counsel and knowledge, to teach you truth, reliable words, to give you sound answers to the ones who sent you? Don't exploit the poor, because he is poor. And don't crush the needy in court, for Yahweh will plead their case and plunder the life of those who plunder them. Don't befriend a hot-tempered man, and don't associate with one who harbors anger, lest you learn his ways and ensnare your soul. Don't you be one of those who strike hands of those who are collateral for debts. If you don't have means to pay, why should he take away your bed from under you? Don't move the ancient boundary stone which your fathers have set up. Don't you see a man skilled in his work? He will serve kings. He won't serve obscure men. Proverbs chapter 23. When you sit to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before you. Put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. Don't be desirous of his dainties, since they are deceitful food. Don't worry yourself to be rich. In your wisdom, show restraint. Why do you set your eyes on that which is not? For it certainly sprouts wings like an eagle and flies in the sky. Don't eat the food of him who has a stingy eye, and don't crave his delicacies. For as he thinks about the costs, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. The morsel which you have eaten you shall vomit up and lose your good works. Don't speak in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of your words. Don't move the ancient boundary stone. Don't encroach on the fields of the fatherless, for their defender is strong. He will plead their case against you. Apply your heart to instruction, and your ears to the words of knowledge. Don't withhold correction from a child. If you punish him with the rod, he will not die. Punish him with the rod, and save his soul from Sheol. My son, if your heart is wise, 
then my heart will be glad, even mine. Yes, my heart will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Don't let your hearts envy sinners, but rather fear Yahweh all day long. Indeed, surely there is a future hope, and your hope will not be cut off. Listen, my son, and be wise, and keep your heart on the right path. Don't be among ones drinking too much wine, or those who gorge themselves on meat. For the drunkard and the glutton shall become poor, and drowsiness clothe them in rags. Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and don't sell it. Get wisdom, discipline, and understanding. The father of the righteous has great joy. Whoever fathers a wise child delights in him. Let your father and your mother be glad. Let her who bore you rejoice. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes keep in my ways. For a prostitute is a deep pit, and a wayward wife is a narrow well. Yes, she lies in wait like a robber, and increases the unfaithful among men. Who has war? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaints? Who has needless bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? Those who stay long at the wine, those who go to seek out mixed wine, don't look at the wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things and your mind will imagine confusing things. Yes, you will be as he who lies down in the middle of the sea or as he who lies on top of the rigging. They hit me and I was not hurt. They beat me, and I don't feel it. When will I wake up? I can do it again. I can find another. Proverbs chapters 22 and 23 offer a wealth of wisdom that can guide our choices and actions in everyday life. These passages emphasize the importance of being diligent, honest, and discerning in our dealings with others. We are reminded to surround ourselves with people who have integrity and to avoid the company of those who may lead us astray. One powerful lesson from Proverbs chapter 22 is to prioritize character over riches. The chapter states that a good name is more desirable than great wealth, highlighting the significance of our reputation and how we are perceived by others. This serves as a timely reminder in our materialistic society today, where success is often measured slowly by financial accomplishments. In Proverbs chapter 23, we are cautioned against gluttony and excessiveness, advising moderation in all aspects of life. It warns that indulging in excessive food or drink leads to poverty and regret. By understanding the value of self-control and discipline, we can make wiser choices that not only benefit us physically, but also help us maintain balance in other areas of our lives. The wisdom found within these chapters encourages personal growth, reinforces ethical principles, and provides guidance for navigating various aspects of life. By exploring these profound teachings from Proverbs chapters 22 and 23, we can gain valuable insights that will undoubtedly impact our decision-making process for the better. I'll share five lessons I have learned from Proverbs chapters 22 and 23. This is by no means an exhaustive list. Some lessons are common in previous chapters as well, which goes to show when there is reputation in the Bible, we should take heed. 1. The value of a good reputation. A good reputation holds immense value in both personal and professional spheres. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1 emphasizes the significance of a good name, stating that it is more desirable than great riches. Indeed, a person's reputation is an intangible asset that can open doors, foster trust, and create opportunities. In today's interconnected world, where information spreads rapidly through social media and online platforms, maintaining a positive reputation has become even more crucial. Having a good reputation 
not only impacts how others perceive us, but also influences our self-esteem and sense of worthiness. When we consistently act with integrity and treat others with respect, we build trustworthiness and credibility. People are naturally drawn to those they can rely on, further broadening our network of connections. Additionally, a strong reputation can lead to increased business success as clients are more likely to choose someone they perceive as trustworthy and reputable over their competitors. Through reflection on Proverbs chapters 22 and 23, we learn the importance of safeguarding our reputations by choosing our words carefully and acting ethically in all areas of life. It reminds us that earning a good name takes time, but losing it can happen swiftly due to one wrong decision or careless action. Therefore, it is essential to be mindful of how our actions align with our values while consistently working towards building and maintaining an honorable reputation that withstands the test of time. 2. The danger of associating with the wrong people. The old saying, birds of a feather flock together, holds true when it comes to the people we choose to associate with. Proverbs 22:24 warns us about the dangers of associating with those who have an angry and hot-tempered nature. These people can easily sway us into adapting their negative behaviors and attitudes, leading us down a destructive path. It is crucial to understand that our associations shape our character and influence our decisions. Proverbs 23.20 advises against being in the company of those who are gluttonous eaters or addicted to excessive drinking as they will only lead us astray. Being around people who indulge in these vices may tempt us into succumbing to similar habits, putting our physical health and well-being at risk. 3. The importance of discipline and correction. Discipline and correction may not be the most glamorous or enjoyable aspects of life, but they are essential for personal growth and character development. Proverbs 22.15 reminds us that folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from him. This verse emphasizes the importance of correcting children when necessary to instill values and guide them onto the right path. We often view discipline as a negative thing, associating it with punishment or restriction. However, when we approach discipline with love and understanding, it becomes a tool for shaping people into their best selves. Proverbs 23.13 advises parents not to withhold correction from a child because doing so could potentially lead to their demise. It highlights that proper discipline is pivotal in teaching children important life lessons and equipping them with crucial skills for navigating adulthood. Embracing discipline ourselves also plays an integral role in personal growth. 4. The Power of Wise Financial Management In Proverbs chapters 22 and 23, we delve into the power of wise financial management. This aspect is often overlooked or undervalued, but it holds immense potential for shaping our lives. Proverbs reminds us again and again of the importance of being diligent and prudent with our resources. It teaches us to plan ahead, save for the future, and avoid impulse spending. The wise financial steward understands that money is not just a means to indulge oneself, but an opportunity to invest in things that truly matter, be it education, health, or supporting others in need. By living within one's means and exercising self-control, we can build strong foundations for ourselves and leave a lasting legacy. Furthermore, Proverbs emphasizes the significance of seeking wisdom when making financial decisions. It urges us to seek counsel from experienced people who can provide guidance in managing wealth effectively. We are reminded that wealth is often fleeting and unpredictable. Therefore, understanding how to make it grow wisely becomes crucial. By cultivating humility and adopting a teachable attitude, towards personal finances, we position ourselves for long-term prosperity 
rather than short-lived gratification. The power of wise financial management lies not only in securing our own well-being, but also enabling us to create positive change within our spheres of influence. As we embrace these lessons from Proverbs chapters 22 and 23 in our daily lives, let us strive to become prudent stewards who use their resources wisely for the betterment of themselves. 5. The Significance of Guarding Our Hearts In Proverbs 23.7, we are reminded that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This proverb highlights the profound connection between our thoughts and actions. Our hearts serve as the core of our being, influencing every decision and shaping our character. It is therefore crucial to guard our hearts diligently against negative influences that can corrupt them. Guarding our hearts requires awareness and discipline. We must be mindful of what we allow into our minds, whether it's through media consumption or the company we keep. Negative thoughts and influences can slowly chip away at the purity and positivity within us. Conversely, by consciously choosing to focus on uplifting messages, surrounding ourselves with positive people, and nourishing our spirits with inspiring material, we create an environment conducive to personal growth. Our hearts are powerful vessels, capable of harboring both love or hate, compassion or indifference. Proverbs warns us about the dangers of envy, greed, lust, and resentment, emotions that can poison our souls if left unchecked. By guarding our hearts diligently and nurturing qualities such as forgiveness, empathy, gratitude, and kindness instead, we open ourselves up to experiencing greater joy and fulfillment in life. Thus lies the true significance of guarding our hearts. It enables us to live authentically aligned with Jesus Christ. Let us commit ourselves to this practice so that from within will flow rivers of light. We will continue from Proverbs chapter 24 in the next episode. God bless you. Bye. If you like what you see, subscribe, like the video, click the notification bell so that you are informed every time I post a new video. Please feel free to share my video and let's spread the word of God together. God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. May you always seek refuge in Him. See you in the next video. Bye.